Hi everybody, I'm Kathy Rhodes with Unity Consulting, where we grow people and develop leaders. Today's topic is going to be about mentors, trainers, and coaches. I was talking to a gentleman a few days ago and he was sharing with me the mentors in his life that he's found and he's just thrilled. He's so excited about how they're mentoring him. I mean, he's never had this type of mentorship before in his, in his young life. Uh, so he was, he was thrilled, right? Telling me details. Uh, but the more we talked, the more he also shared with me some of his struggles, you know, and where he's at right now and where he wants to go or thinks he needs to go or doesn't know where to go. And those struggles are so real and so pausing in his life. And I commented and said, what about your mentors? And he's like, well, they're not helping me get anywhere. They're my mentors. You know, the definition of a mentor is somebody who shares experiences with us. The definition of a trainer is somebody who tells. And the definition of a coach, like a business coach or a professional development coach, personal development coach, is somebody who asks questions. They ask you really challenging questions and they wait for you to answer. So the more I talked to him, the more I realized that these mentors in his life are sharing experiences with him. I mean, they're, they're seasoned in life, right? They've done what he's done before and they're sharing these experiences and that is very critically important. But maybe not for you at the moment you're in. You know, somebody who trains or teaches, that's somebody who tells. That's somebody who will just tell you, well, this is what you have to do. Oh my gosh, I know the problem here. This is what you need to do to fix it. Uh, to be completely honest, as a parent, I am often that teller <laughs> to my children, right? I tell them, this is what you need to do. You need to go get a job. You need to make some money. You need to pay off your debt. You need. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not even a trainer, right? That's, that's got other words for it. Uh, you know, but, but, but in a training situation, when we purposely seek out some training, that's what's really happening is, is we're being told. We're being told some theories or philosophies or systems that work for others. But we still have a responsibility to adapt it to ourselves. I know I've taken some systems from, from many professional friends and I think, how do you work with this system? This is crazy. It's just not even logical. Well, to them it is. And when I share my systems, you know, people think the same thing. This is crazy, but it's a starting point. And then we need to tweak it and adapt it to ourselves. So, so that training is critically important. We need people to train into us, to teach us. We also need people to share experiences. The, the one that we have the least of in our life is really a coach, not an athletic coach. Okay. We're talking about a personal development coach who really challenges your thinking. Of everything I get to do, of the speaking and the training and the coaching that I get to do, coaching is by far my favorite. Because when I truly am being a great coach and I'm being silent and I'm listening, I'm allowing the other person to really think and talk, that's when the light bulbs go off. And I know when I'm being coached, when I take time to just be quiet and let my brain process the question that was asked of me. Wow. There's life changing moments that have happened to me over the years in those coaching relationships when I was the one being coached. That's why I love coaching because these are life changing moments. You know, when I was, when I was younger living in my parents' house, my mom would, you know, tell me what to do. <laughs> she never had good ideas. Never. But, you know, when I thought of the great idea, which was probably really similar to what she told me a few weeks ago, but you know, that's okay. When I came up with the idea, it was an amazing idea. I was invested, I was bought in, and I was committed to that idea. That's the difference between training and coaching. My, my behavioral style is a high D. And if you know anything about the DISC behavioral assessment, a high D is very fast paced, um, results driven. That is my natural behavioral style. So the fact that I love to coach the most is, is really against my natural style. 
you know, I do want to just tell you what to do. And I want you to listen. And I want you to do it. I want to be productive. And I want to be fast. But I know that's not where the magic really happens in life. I know that's not where the magic has happened to me. And when somebody gets on me in that same behavioral style, I, I reject it. I push it off and I don't tell me what to do. I don't want to hear. I want to figure out for myself. I remember when I was, you know, in high school or college and trying to figure out life. I, I would say that a lot to my parents. Just let me figure it out myself. Well, I'm still that way. And so are a lot of people. You know, so, so whether you're working with people and you're trying to help them move forward in their, in their goals, or maybe you're looking at yourself, consider who's, who's your coach. Absolutely think about who's your mentor and who are your trainers, who's your boss, who's your manager, but who's your coach? Who is asking you tough questions and waiting for you to answer them? Who's thinking into you? helping you to think differently with these tough questions. Oh, they're simple questions, mm, but really challenging. They're so simple that we've never answered them ourselves. So as we wrap up this video today, I'm gonna leave you with a simple question to think about and to actually write down your answer to. Who are you and what are your values? Who are you? What are your values that you live by or that you want to live by? What values do you want people to see in you? Simple question, right? We should have that. We're so old, we, you know, we've thought about that a lot. I know for me, I don't always really think to answer questions like that. So take time to think about who are you and what are your values? And I will see you next time as we continue to grow people and develop leaders.